rappers could not save the life of rapper Tupac Shakur. Jerry Bowen has more on the life and death last night of the singer who always seemed to be in the middle of trouble. It seems the rain will never let up. I try to keep my head up. 25-year-old Tupac Shakur was a victim of the urban violence he made a staple of his own hip-hop music, gunned down one week ago in a Las Vegas drive-by shooting, a crime with reluctant witnesses and killers who got away. It amazes me that when we have professional bodyguards as part of this entourage that they can't even give us an accurate description of the vehicle. More than anything else, Shakur represented what he called the thug life, the swaggering, tough attitude of gangster rap, a life and music that was raw, coarse, and on the edge. Tupac was definitely true to the game. Despite some of his shortcomings, um, he always gave you something with his music. Trouble always seemed to find Shakur, who found himself in numerous scrapes with the law, arrested for rape in New York in 1994. Well, I've done plenty of things wrong in my life, but I've done nothing criminally wrong in the case that I'm, I'm served with right now. And in the middle of that trial, Shakur was gunned down, shot five times in what he claimed was a murder attempt and police called a robbery. There was no mercy on the streets, I couldn't rest. In one of his many successful songs, he predicted a short life and a violent end, but last year confessed he'd grown tired of the thug life. Problem was, in the end, he couldn't escape it. Jerry Bowen, CBS News, Hollywood. Will I survive till